Alrighty, so I chose quest number three because I've always wanted to draw. Um, I'm not very good at it. Uh, I don't practice a lot. The only drawing that I really do is when I draw up uh, plans, um, projects for like duct designs for you know enormous buildings. Um, so. You know, it's lots of using a ruler and drawing very straight lines uh, for calculations. That's about it. So uh, I gave it my best go. And so the very first stage, um, I wanted to draw like a knight um, sitting at kind of a campfire. So I started with the back of the knight uh, kind of outlining the body shape. Um, the armor, uh, the upper body portion. Um, I figured I'd work with the most, with the most foreground objects, uh, in the scene, and then kind of work my way away. Um, so then I started to draw out the arm, um, which was really interesting. Um, from there, I figured I would just get it over with. Hands are really, really difficult, so... Uh, I, I decided I would just draw out the hand, um, and then underneath his hand, of course, is the sword, uh, which is laying on the ground. So I did that while um, afterwards filling out more of the, his attire, um, some of the satchels and, and stuff like that, uh, finishing, finishing off with the leg going around to the front, so you can tell he's in a sitting position, um, and then filling in some of the details like the chain mail, um, parts of the arms, uh, and filling in some more, some shading, a little bit of shading here and there, which was kind of fun, um, put some more details on the sword on the ground, which is tricky because, uh, it's it's perspective you know the sword is on the ground so you have from a certain perspective the the hilt would normally be the the length of your or the width of your hand but in this case because it's at an angle uh, I had to kind of make it look like it was shorter so I was trying to keep these perspectives in mind while making the drawing um, added some color to it a little bit more color, some details. After after having, you know, drawn out the lines, um, I I went back over them with with a much harder push um, to to you know make the lines darker and make them pop, you know, because uh, when I added the color initially, uh, it there wasn't enough contrast. The edges were too light, so I darkened them up. Um, added some more shading. I tried to think of like a campfire in front of him, so the back is going to be shaded. You know where he's sitting is going to be shaded, stuff like that. Um, and then uh, replaced the background with a dark background. Drew out the flames and kind of kind of made it look like he was in front of a campfire. Um, so all in all, it was really fun. Uh, I had a blast drawing it. Um, I love fantasy kind of stuff, you know, uh, and never really drawn before. So uh, my experience was, uh, you know, it, it was exciting being able to kind of, uh, you know, test my abilities. Um, I had to go over the hand a lot uh, because the hand is a very tricky part, uh, especially at perspective. If you're drawing just a hand like this, usually it's not, not that difficult, but when it's like, when it's at an angle, you know, on the ground, <clears throat> it's really hard to get just right. And it took me, you know, hours and hours to do this one thing. <laughs> uh, cause you know, I, I didn't want to, I didn't want it to look terrible. So yeah, that's that was my experience. Um, yep, 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 yep.